Okay, Rabbit, this is your year, and while that is a reason to celebrate, uh, when it's your year, it also can be challenging because you have to do a lot of new things. And so this is uh, a year where you're in harmony with the energy. You understand this energy, and that's what makes you feel comfortable. But you may look back at the things you've been doing and say you don't want to do those anymore, and that is the the reason that you start doing a lot of new things. And a lot of new things could be moving, changing jobs, changing relationships. And some of these things will unfold over a three-year period, not just one year, but you will get many new opportunities this year. Now, all of this is because you're in the first year of seed planting. And so, as I said, in the 12-year cycle of your entire cycle, you get three years of seed planting, and but this is the very first year. So picture yourself, you're, you're kind of like an experienced farmer, you have a bag of seeds, you're dropped on a piece of property, but you have to plant, you have to nurture, you have to tend this, and then you get the harvest. Right now, you're right at that beginning time of planting the seeds. So that means try anything new that you can think think of. You know, try try a new toothpaste, try a new grocery store, try a new route to work, try anything new, because all of these things could lead to something wonderful. When we look at the eclipses, which can bring big changes, uh, we're looking at April for a possible change in your career. That is a new job, a promotion, or moving to a different department, or getting a different supervisor who brings you a lot of new duties. So some sort of change in your career in April. And then we see changes at home, possibly in October. That might mean moving, redecorating, renovations, uh, maybe somebody moving in or moving out. That is going to be October for you. Now, if you really want success, the thing to do this year is to cultivate your knowledge of investing, your knowledge of handling money, and also resources in general to look beyond where you have gotten maybe information or help in the past and see if you can't expand that to other you know, people, institutions, etc. So by putting some effort into learning how to handle your money, especially in the way of creating passive income sources or a side business, that's going to help you the most. And where we see your most luck is when you put yourself out there to be seen. That means not hiding at home, but actually, you know, posting or creating your brand or maximizing your profile on LinkedIn or some professional website. But those are the types of things that are going to bring you the most luck because that way the money and opportunities can find you. <laughs> That's awesome.